We head to Nuke. It's big plans to rain. See if they can justify the pick in the opening stages. So damn close to separate them. Look at that, 19-17. NIP losing their Vertigo punish pick. Now it's time for Big Clan to flex. Klopski's pulled out the jewelies. In fact, we've got two armored jewelies. Oh, what? Start off with a CT buy. That's unusual. That's 30 bullets for the top take. If they go for it, they'll be able to unload those jewel berettas. That's very interesting. I've never seen that before on a CT side of pistol. Nork's taking a lot of space here. He's gotten across. He's even going for a pick. Look at this from Nork. He's been spotted. He's about to be run down. There's three big players on the other side of this red box who have locked him on in. Keto even finishes him off. <laughs> okay. What do you do with this now? You've lost yard. Twist definitely doesn't want to peek. Wait, they've even crossed secret and got ramp control. Everything you'd ever want. This is a like a one round through positioning alone. Now the Franks are matching. Uh-oh. NIP's woes are kicking off here. Hello, the loudest rotate you could possibly make. And Tabson's already pressuring Twist on Heaven. They can fill either side. Every frag goes their way. Now the Julies fill the feed. It is just the two They got four pistols left. <laughs> I see what you did there. And Blofsky's found one before he shut down. Now a second Julie appears and enters the fray. Zantares with his P250 says no in capital letters. Now, Alex, I don't know if you are an NIP fan. It doesn't really matter because I'm sure there's a whole lot of them watching at home right now and they're probably eagerly waiting to see if the ninjas can do what they did last time to Big on Nuke, which was a 28-26 victory. Now, that's uh, plenty of overtimes there if you don't want to do the maths. But what you need to know is ever since the introduction of Hampus into this roster, NIP have played this map 14 times. They have only won it three times. Well, that doesn't sound too positive. Now, their permaban is dust too. They don't play that one. This is their second worst dive. map. Tizian sets himself up for success. That's all his own util. And he man he's managed to get right under the enemy skin early. As does Plopsky, though. Look at this. He's pushed in towards the lobby. Tizian has forced Hampus to rotate down. And now, pressure on the outside smokes. I like the way that Big are approaching this. Their nuke is a threat. And they're demonstrating that in the first two rounds of play, just through the playbook that they've utilized. Get one down vents early. Rotate secret. He has the vent rotate. The only threat you're going to have to deal with is going to be, well, at the moment, it's three CTs, admittedly. But they'll be able to pick apart at them through window control. Chad Birchall's School of Counter-Strike taught me that you need window control to successfully take the lower sight. And now it's been denied. Twist leaping into the lion's den. They're going to wallbang him. Hampus not long for this world. Good damage. And it's finished off by the nade. He softened him up for Norks. Finished off long range. That's a very long range MAC-10 frag from Searson. And that could be the start of the end unless Plopsky gets this one. And he has. Rez has gone down. Not easy for him. And to top is on the cards. It's very strong. Molly towards heaven as well. Tizian to work on the lobby lockdown. Tyres even has the AK for this. Perfect weapon for the job as they try and peer out heaven. Norks going around to oh, main. Perfect. Oh, Tizian. Perfect. You naughty boy. That is a dream. A couple of other little stat lines to look at here for NIP on this map of Nuke. I mentioned that they've only played it 14 times, three wins, 11 losses. Nork is the only player to have a positive rating. And it's not even deep into the positive. It's only 1.04. Everybody else, Rez, Blobsky, Twiz, Hampus, all with red ratings on HLTV.org. And Hampus, the in-game leader, he is actually the lowest rated out of all of them. Yeah, and I actually, we, I've got some great news uh, to share during this, what could be a rather uneventful round. Rushley has had a CSGO notice him. A yeah. CSGO Twitter account has feel, noticed Rush? Rushley123456. It feels very cool. I'm sure I it does. Believe I, can, it. I can actually hear you smiling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I honestly can believe it. So yeah, I was chuffed about that. Yeah, to be it's honest. really, really cool. And yeah. uh, they, they even acknowledge that you've pushed bump mines further than they expected. Exactly, yeah. So shout outs to Sid as well. Um, he was a person who, you know, really started to do some crazy what? stuff. He was the one that inspired you, no? Oh, yeah, definitely so. And if it wasn't for Sears Goes How tweet, do we find Sid, your inspiration? Uh, I believe it's Sid Danger Zone Playhouse, I believe it is. Okay, cool. Well, I'm sure you'll find it if you type it into the Googles. Norx managed to put his bullet into the head of Keto, but I'm afraid that is only on Mac 10 recovered. It's not going to be the dream save. And I'm really not in love with this for NIP. Sure, the last time the result, this was a very close game, and I guess... You just saw Vertigo be extremely close, but for NIP, for it not to be one of their key maps, as Nork's going to mop up another kill here, they're going to continue to hunt. Does he really want to hold on to the MAC-10? I guess so. He's going close to the bomb. He's just trying to draw them all in to take down as many as he can. We'll find him. 
and they will survive. So very, very lucky there. That was just a second between maybe some more damage from the bomb and a couple of extra kills for Nork, but he's done a decent job and he will be able to get the AWP going forward. Nice clean mop up there for Big as the scoreline now 3-0. And big picking into this one here today, it was a clear weakness of the ninjas. It is something that they should be considering themselves favorites in. They've been so relentless in these outside smokes. You just, you, by the time they're throwing it and you're 10 rounds in, you're gonna have to, you know, respect it. Oh, Tizzy hasn't even found one as well. So over towards Squeaky Door, Plopsky goes down. Another early death for the ninjas, operating at a man disadvantage as Norkel need to go searching now, but so does Twist. He's found Tizzy in lobby. That is a big start. They haven't used their outside smokes. They only threw the one on the initial cross. So now they can continue to take space and they will for a molly and smoke combination. Flashes even as they try and get across. Rez has got such a fast flank. He's a silo flanking. Searson misses his shot. Keto doesn't, but Hampus with them all distracted takes a wide fight and lines them up. That is a confidence booster and a half. He gets three in quick succession. And those are his first three of the second map. Oh, okay, money in question for a couple of players on big here after the first few rounds did go quite well. Maybe we'll have to talk through the buy. Zantaris has enough to purchase himself and even drop one across if he'd like, and this is just Hampus again on the replay. So if we want to know why that's possible, Big like to do a lot of these four-man yard plays with Tizzy and the solo defender towards lobby. So as soon as he's gone down, NIP have punished that. They've taken all the space, and they've even forced Big just down to a partial investment. Zantaris didn't go for the AK. He's gone for Kevlar with a Galil. So very, very curious purchase there. A couple of Deagles, two Glocks, and a nade for Tizian. They can keep NIP honest with a frag or two. They'll make sure that the CTs don't start building a bank. But Big, surprisingly, are not going all in on this one. Taking some yard control again. You can see a little bit of a stack here with Tabson and Keto. If anybody wants to peek up secret, we'll have a slight little Ooh. hide advantage. That nade will make them think better of it. Hampus with the toughest job on the map here, having to do deal with Yard, especially with the way that Big like to approach this, especially considering that Searson with the AWP will be present. Oh, and Zantaras reveals the Galil in the feed, and North clawing it back for the ninjas. Should be problem solved. Bomb spotted crossing Yard, and the fact that they've gotten away with this, and now the, the bunny hops. hop, yeah, it baits the shot. Trying to get Searson down. Tabson was trying to set his teammates up for success by getting presence into lower, but Nork just does not flinch. Tizian, good moves. Taking it in turns for triples. First Hampus, now Nork, back on the feed. It's really important for Nork to come alive here in this map, and the fact that he is back onto the AWP is starting to fill me with a little bit more confidence in IP than I had coming into this map. He just wasn't operating well with it on the T side against bigger Vertigo, and well, getting back on at the CT side here, he will be instrumental. This is not a good map for NIP. I'll continue to push that one home for you because Big picked this for a reason. They're currently three on the trot. Two of their big wins on this have been against Maus and Vitality in recent times. Once again, it's that heavy lean towards Yard. Just Tizian towards Lobby again. So if they're able to find him, They'll continue to crunch this pressure from all angles, NIP. And we spoke to Threat not that long ago, talking about how he thinks the meta of the CT side for Nuke is shifting. We need to see if that's the case. What has he been working on? Mork searching now. Secret smokes drop. He might go for a little bit of a looky loop. He's going to get first blood. I tabs in force now to a 4v5. And you can see that the CTs are keeping moving around the map. Plopsky's even caught Tizian. Ampus meets Santares, and that's the first back for Big. They're wrapping in. Twist, surely. Oh, no. He doesn't find the head. Searson reacts quick enough, and suddenly what felt like a completely done deal has got another twist. Plopsky now has to be threatened by the potential for that heaven and ramp pivot. Santares is heading up there with the bomb for now. Held by Rez. Very predictable angle, admittedly. He'll be procedurally checking that it back and forth. Oh, sound. So much sound. Plopsky, what's your punish here? Oh, he can use the one way against them. Yeah, as they drop in, it's true. With a bomb drop now, and oh, damage inflicted. Searson will be finished <laughs> off. That's lovely. Do they save the double AWP? Doesn't look like they're interested. And so, that's NIP equalizing and doing so rather convincingly. You can see all that's done to Big Clan as well. 2400, nothing. You'll have to basically watch the fourth get taken from them. I think he was looking for an AK there. Plopsky, unable to find it. We'll just have to operate with the M4, but the round's the most important part. 
and how big adjust to this will be the question. Still got the fans in the fan cam. If you want to join them, if you're watching your home on your PC, everyone give it a bit of a fist bump there. IAM.gg slash fan cam. We do have one series left this evening after this one. It's Team 1 taking on Triumph, the rematch. As we turn our attention back to Big versus NIP, it will just be the pistols again. This time smokes towards Yard and Hampers. Perfect position. Able to get one and a half. Rez will have to do the rest of the work here. Can do this, Keto. Only missing the jiggle. Does get punished on the second. It's his and his deagle. All right, clean as you like. NIP only losing Hampus there. Able to course correct after a shakier start there. Good trades from Rez. Four to three and a timeout call from Big. Toby wants to get on the mic here. That'll be the coach of Big, just making sure that everybody understands what they need to be doing as they head into their next gun round. If you take a look at the cash on the bottom right-hand side of your screen there, you can see the Sirison was currently operating with 5.5K. That's enough for him to go for the AWP. But he has to choose between Kevlar or Utility. Never a choice you want to make, and especially considering you will be on that T side. Head armor is always nice to go up against the M4A4s or the 1Ss as well. Timeout has expired. Buys are coming in. Tabs it into the AK. Will we see the AWP from Sirison? Would make a lot of sense. There you go. AWP and Kevlar. Everyone else has the utility required here. NIP starting to build a little bit of a bank now. You can see we'll up to 9k will be Nork. What will be the approach? They're sending Sirison forward with the AWP. Hampus needs to be careful about how he approaches this. Just a couple of jumps and jiggles to see what's around. And spot anyone towards top of Silo, but if he peeks too far, oh, he's going to get into a duel there. Zantares and Hampus both call it off. Rez has even found Tizian in the meantime. Tizian's been a lot of their opening deaths. That's a fifth added to the list. Not necessarily an opening death, but that's all the same. Look at them take the space. As soon as Tizian's dead, they know that they can this, push. This is a re really big gap. Rez was punishing it on the Silo push before. This is where Hampus got his triple kill. And look, Twist has already triggered Discipline or not. Just didn't notice Tabson. Now he's got the frag. And he's locked them outside. Smoke as well for them to play around. This is awkward now. GG.bet believes that Big have the edge. An understandable 1-0 up in the series. Certainly not in this round, though. They are building some great setups here for the CT side. Oh, Plopsky spotted. Will he be ready for Hampus on Red Box? Yeah, that's Hampus again finding a frag. This is great. NIP haven't lost a single man, and it's down to them taking some proactive space, taking some risks, denying lobby info. Rez has done it, now Twist has too. They're going to force Big to completely change their game plan here, Alex, and I don't know how much they can lean back on more lobby presence because that's what they have to do. That is exactly what they have to do because if they notice there's many, any more players in lobby, is ooh, seriously, am I going to kill? Ooh, nice and easy as you like. Twist will go down. No longer a clean round. They know where the AWP is now, so if they want to hunt, they know exactly where to turn their attention. It seems like they're just calling the dogs off here and will hold on to their guns. But yeah, this means that Big will have to change their game plan. So if you go for more lobby presence, maybe Sirius and could look for some ramp picks, something along those lines. We know that Big have that top execute where they love to throw the Molotov uh, actually through the wall, as it were. Yeah, on the little light fixing. Yeah, so they will have some different looks. We know that they have more strategies, but their overall game plan is quite reliant on having one player towards lobby, Tizian, the one who's being bullied at the moment, and the remainder of them working yard as a unit. If they go quicker into yard, or if Tizian is able to play more passive, so he's not giving up any early deaths, at that point, Big might be able to operate in the way that they want to, but they've already used their second timeout. It's a strange twist of fate, Chad, but I... I but you're not going to believe this. This doesn't sound like me at all. I watched a full Tizian POV. Of Sorry, his, what? Yeah, of Tizian <laughs> T-side nuke, actually. Yeah. And I know his default is going behind the red box squeak. And if I know that, and I've watched one demo. NIV know NIV that. NIV know that. Yeah. And it's been working wonders for them. I think a, a combination of nading off squeaky door early really reduces Tizian's options. And then if you have the mix of trophy and hut aggression, he loses a lot of power in lobby. Yeah. So at this point, this is probably why Toby has opted to take another timeout. Surely they've identified the fact that these flanks have happened on two big gun rounds and we've only played eight rounds of Counter-Strike. So if that's NIP clearly taking it to big, they're trying to rattle them. And if they must have, that must have clearly rattled them because they need to operate differently from this juncture forward. Because those are, those are deaths that don't happen in a professional game of Counter-Strike, right? I mean, going for an outside take and being shot in the back and silo at the same time as Hampus has got no smoke on the, your cross, it's... it's uh... It's a really, really cruel twist of fate. And from twists of fate to twist going down first. 
Searson's found him. Tamsons are even sneaking down. Secret. Hampers wants to punish, and he's going for it. Klopsky finding him first, though, so they'll be meeting each other. Nork does punish the drops, and Tara's tried it. They tried a different flavor. Already, it's not going to really translate into anything successful. Nork's locked him out. I feel like they need a plant at least here because Sirius didn't get any loss bonus by saving this up, and now they're fully committed, so they will have to go for this big. Kido's trying to get the bomb down. Will the door swing open? Plopsky not giving it away. If they pick Decon, Sirius is going to have that AWP trained on his position. Element of surprise, catches Rez, doesn't take him down, but Keto very low and eventually taken out. Good jump, Molly, pressure, Searson losing his AWP in dark and only Tizian against four. Time is half gone. If he could one deeg without getting spotted out, yeah, unfortunately, Nork's quick, reacts accordingly and they've fused with plenty of time. Solid from the NIP squad. Really me. They've saved three AKs as well and you can see that their finances are swelling. 13 grand for Rez as he drops a weapon over his teammate. He is building quite the CT bank. And with Big Clan, they started off with the first three. They have really met their maker. NIP done their homework. You can see Rez, his movement made it almost impossible for Searson to punish, combined with the mollies and flashes. So they get the bomb plant, Chad. You said that was a, um, a must, yeah. must have from Big. They've secured that bare minimum, but frustrations are rising. Well, Sirson only had uh, 4.3, and that was with the plant. So they've been able to drop in an orb, and here you go. Tizian back in towards Squeaky, but more lobby presence. Wait, they're pushing, they're popping top. Trying to. Rez seems to want to deny it, though, with 13. Make it 14. Make it a double. He's managed to open it up. Nort catching Keto on the way in. Big throwing caution to the wind. Searson hoping to catch the trades a little too late to the party. Nork might peek back in, though. Uh, down the vent loudly. Centaurus to plant. We'll drop his smoke to enable it. Searson, he's in a prime position actually to defend his teammate here. An orb, a perfect weapon for the job. Zantaris is cautious to plant. Ampus is the unknown entity. And as that bomb goes in, are his priorities denial? Yeah, he's just completely caught Zantaris and Searson thrown into a one versus three. Oh, this feels winnable for Searson. There is smokes in play. And he's already caught the descending Klopsky, tags him up for 15. That's not the lethal kill he was hoping for. Peeks into Nork now, playing with the doors, and he does catch the drop. He knows where they are. Twist, though, punishes the miss. Searson, if only he'd have had that lethal kill onto Plopsky, it could have felt different. A valiant attempt from the German Orpa that does have no absence of class and pizzazz. Seven for the ninjas now. They have nearing max money. Oh, all right, well, there was a moment where this one almost got out of control, but it is a plant again, and what it will be at this stage is the max loss bonus facilitating another buy, facilitating another Sirius and Orb, and facilitating Big to remain threatening. You're bang on with the money. NIP have enough to continue a buy for future rounds, even if they do lose this one, but it means they have to struggle. If they can start denying Big the plants, these rounds do get a little bit easier. More lobby presence again, this time Tabson helping them set it up. Not dropping down the vent. More ramp focus as well. This is Tizian's default position. Simpson's going for some interesting off angles on Yard. Oh, Rez got done. That's the first opening we've actually seen in favor of Big in some time. Now they just need to build upon it. Well, at least they need lobby. lobby, yeah. Ski. Walking straight into the crosshairs, and he actually wins the duel. That is colossal for Plopsky. The flash is good too. He wants the challenge. Tizian believes he's been given a gift from the gods. Plopsky's head gone. Searson's found one outside. Hampers was secret. Nork on the side still, though. He can't deny it, can he? He pushed it to Tabson. Two to the belly. Needs a third on Keto, and he's hit it as well. Nork's come alive in pursuit of an eighth. He's already, it. Searson's been spotted. He can't hit the shot. A flash is good. Maybe he can catch the denial. He needs to stop Twist. Oh, no. A miss onto Nork, and the defuse comes in. Eight now for the ninjas. Oh, oh, oh. Well, another plan, and it will be another buy from Big, and that one was even closer. Rez with the opening death towards Hut, but Plopsky, what a pick that was onto Zantares. They weren't expecting the re-aggression. Like, oh, damn. This, these new generation, this new breed of players, they jail everything. Like, you, it used to be you jiggle the court like a couple of corners. Yeah. Now every single angle, no stationary movement whatsoever. 
and he just catches a little glimpse of Zantares' head. A big smile on Twist. It's good to see a smile out of him, typically. <laughs> Death slams and frustration. Yeah, exactly. Keto's going for the vent drop, and it does seem... Oh, he's stuck. He's been slowed by Rez, in fact, so much so, he's now gone. Oh my god, NIP have completely unraveled any game plan Big have come in here with today. They've had to change up the pace. Oh, They've had yeah. to change up the process. It's all towards top. More dropping down the vent. This is going to be hurt. They're noisy. So noisy that Twist is in this power spot. This is a multi-kill position. Oh. It's just their toes. You can see, look at Tabson's health. He's even oh, dropped a nade. Stop that. Hi. Twist finally goes down. It will fall to Sears, and he's hitting some good shots. Very good shots. A double. Hunted now. Oh. Nork on ramp. He taps away. It's a good duel. They double up, and he hits them both. Sears, and what a round. He actually hits the final bullet. Wow, that is pristine. Eight. Found. Big clan. Give it a four, thanks to their star orpa. I am cops back. Let me see this. I'm counting the bullets here. Look at this. Five. Five, Five bullets. Three. He gets the last two kills with his last two bullets. That is absolutely I've never seen insane. it. Sisson, you beast. Jeez. You demigod. Yes. They oh. needed that. Well, yes, maybe that's an injection of life into Big Clan. A miss from Nort gives them another chance, Sisson. Oh my god, Sears, and taking some liberties. Nork will punish him for it, running with the momentum of his clutch. Some great shooting, but already a disadvantage for Big to overcome. That was amazing. I'm still recovering from that. Jesus. I think that testosterone was flowing through Searson's veins as he went for a completely dry cross. That was such a biff, that entire round. What a way to close it. Last two bullets. Oh, what a shot from Tabson as well. Nork just leering into the open. He goes down, so now we're back. Oh. Uh, this, okay. is, this is a chaotic Counter-Strike game. There's so many fights. Fights all over the map. You can see that Hampus winning that does mean that Yard is under the CT control. They're heading into Twist. They'll have to turn the flash, but this frag is everything, and he's already found Tizian. Does well to find a second as well. Means Santares has only got himself to rely upon. Oh. Plopsky winning another duel that didn't look too favorable. Good stuff from the Swede. And I appear giving them no room to work with. You can see as soon as they identify where Big are, they want to take the fights. And sure, that was one of the key reasons as to why Sirison was able to hit those two absolute bangers, that they wanted to continue to fight and take the round away from him. But that is also why NIP are nine to, to the good of four for Big so far, is because they continue. As soon as they know what space they have, take it and keep the pressure on. As soon as Big want to turn around and double back or they want to head for any more territory that they think they've already kept under their remit, it's gone. NIP are in their face, they're fighting. And they're looking good for 10. It's a fast top. Oh, through the molly. That is fast. Check your hut. It's Hampus, and he's got double. Rez dropping off the hut as well for another. This is NIP. Just slapping Big Clan around. Oh, Searson. Oh, Searson. You want it so bad. He gets the knife kill, puts the M4 in his hands. Perhaps he's got something more to contribute. They know there's a deagle towards Squeaky and Sirison was in lobby. So both players have been noted now as Hampus has ducked down secret. He's now going to push back around towards main. Bomb is down bomb. on the top side. There's heaps of, heaps of time right now to isolate some jewels. There's a lot of utility left. Hampus has a smoke, so does Nork. They can keep Squeaky and Hut smoked if they would like. But there's still a real chance because if you plant yourself on top of the bomb here, you treat it like a bit of an egg. Well, you know where they're going to be sitting. Hampus does not have the health to handle that jewel. If he gets one here, he's done well. I feel like they should get on top of this. They likely swing together. It's about choosing a target and committing to it. Element of surprise, Shadow. He commits and he does get one and done. That's not too shabby considering his health. Mission accomplished. The bomb retrieval mission starts. Searson likely expecting Rez and he's handled it well. Can not we again. see another clutch from Searson? He's already got three kills, 12 HP to find the last. Started with a knife kill. And now, descending. Nork. Gonna be the one responsible for saving this Heard one. Him now. He's actually charging down behind Sears and a fake plant and a push. He's only got the HP. Oh! Puts the tenth on the board for the ninjas. Sears and gave it everything it was worth. Last round of this half, Hampus getting credit where it's due. You can see with three kills, 400 damage as he was on top of that hut. They tried to completely change the pace there, Big Clan. You can't really fault them for trying. It just was met by a, a perfect double hut play from the ninjas. 17 for Rez. Nork on 15. He's definitely back to his winning ways in Big Clan. This T side has been kept so honest. I can't believe the way the NIP have approached this. If you're looking at the stat lines, it's been horrible for them on Nuke in recent times, but they have unraveled, unraveled Big's game plan. They continue to do so. More harassment over towards Squeaky Door. More space taken towards Ramp. Sirison's looked the wrong way, the wrong time. Twist might punish him here. 
How deep of a clear does this and do? In fact, he's looking at the smoke in that angle. I think it means that he feels no one has crossed. Twist and Searson, a standoff. Oh, and that's the tip of an AWP. Can duck under it, peeks into it. Perfect play from Twist, and he's done his job. Tizian has slipped the net, though. Twist may not be anticipating this. We well, just look down. Good find, Tizian. Pays a heavy price. Trying to keep them pinned. He's done well to drop that util. The CTs cannot rotate into ramp. It enables his teammate to descend. They're going lower. Klopski's there. Is he ready for oh. Tizian? What an off angle. Bomb has been planted. This is wild. Standoff. Two in that window room. And Klopski starts his crawl. A hard headshot to hit. Hampus gets one. Klopski actually weathers the storm of Tizian. Now the ninjas have a shot. Keto's hit his. Doesn't find the second. It falls to Tabson. Very winnable for the start. Bomb ticking away heavily in favor of him. And he's already taken down the healthiest man, but Tabson just needs to get on the bomb. Plopsky's got no health for this. A flash again. It should be his frag. Oh. It is. Tabson finds five. And we find a break. Got to compose ourselves as the big clan. They've got a big CT side ahead of them. the first half there and yeah we're starting to burn the evening oil Thompson just filling his uh, lungs with 
some fresh oxygen and grabbing some caffeine because we have got a big and intense second half. It could very well be going all the way to a third. MIP have cracked Big Clan's case. 10 to Big Clan's five. But NIP heading into the T side, and our machine I've got sponge with me for this one. Let's get this underway, shall we? Nor can res their straight into some smokes and mollies and over towards ramp. They barrel Zantares to deliver a couple of kills here. He's not falling back. He actually wants to fight. Damn, and those bunny hops. He has not been deterred. Typically, you'd see them deterred. Instead, it's a full round over, just that like that. Quick. That's, That's both pistols for big. Yeah, but I mean, just seeing his willingness to stand and fight when you've got two that have bunny hopped past your crosshair, that's faith in your teammate. They get the frags and they get the round in just a matter of seconds, really, from the break. Real problems for NIP now. When you consider how that first half went, they did a great job of taking space and punishing the T side of big, but to do the same on the CT side is not so easy. It means they're going to need to be well coordinated. And I was speaking about their woes on this map. It is their second worst map, Dust2 being their worst. They don't play it. So for NIP at this stage, they will just be taking a save. They hardly had any damage there. They didn't get the bomb down. They're operating with just Glocks in this one. Big only managed two gun rounds in that first half. It was pistol plus conversion. And then it was the two gun rounds, one of which was a one on four from Sirison with the AK on the lower side with two beautiful one taps. Now Sirison wants to farm cash for that AWP. Forcing forward. It's just like these Glocks are more like little Flies just buzzing around on a hot summer's day, just trying to get rid of them here because it shouldn't be too long. Midges. There's another $600 for Keto, and oh, I think he's just fired Hampus. Yep, they fancy their hunt. Another $600 for Tizian, injected straight on into the next round of play. It will be round 18. We got our AKs out for the Swedes. And a bonus of sorts for the CTs. Now, Chad, am I talking lobby crunch? Am I talking aggression? Maybe a yard push with these MP9s? Or are they going to let the Swedes take that space initially? I feel like if you get executed on, it's really not going to be too fun. Some closer angles. And what was that from Searson? He's decided it's not a bonus okay. round for him. Yeah, that's going to change things up with their approach here. Maybe Keto wants to get close towards Silo, like you were prefacing there. That would be a great little compliment to Searson's AWP. And it's exactly that. It is a yard control. So up close and personal gives them the flexibility right now to either continue through for information or to deny any standard yard smokes. And it looks like Plopsky... We'll be working with the silo player of Hampus here to do exactly that. And there's the AWP. It strikes early. Hampus has fallen. And now Keto, if he doesn't get any contact in the next 15, 20 seconds, might start taking a bit of an inquisitive glance around this corner. Plopsky probably asked to regroup with the team at this juncture. He wants to jump up and check that close corner, but Keto just oh, times it whoa, whoa, nice whoa, whoa. from Plopsky. Actually wins the duel. And at the same moment, Nork was pulling the trigger onto Tabson through the smoke. So... We're left with a three on three. Tizian's recovered himself a good a weapon upgrade. No more MP9 funny business. Bombs on res through squeak. As it fades, a flash for the info. It's a good move from Tizian, but he could be vulnerable. I don't fancy his chances on any further wide swing. He's really hanging on by a thread here. Oh, the spray is great from Tizian. He survives as well, but the bomb did slip the net. Res will be planting lower. Klopsky plans to drop as well. Does so without making a peep. Zantares, can you pressure that plant as Rez spotted out and wins the duel? Big stuff. Make practically a round winner from NIP. Plopsky holding Tizian's advance. Searson's good. He's late arrival though, and he's the only one. Oh, that's changed things. Rez has actually given him the hunt. He doesn't opt for the AK. That's a sign of Searson. He's even got himself Plopsky to find no smoke. He'd wish he did. And the timing oh. was perfect. Plopsky takes the chance. And gets the AWP. Wow, big round from Plopsky. He gets three. And don't forget, the first was a quick reaction onto what could have been the end of him. Keto pushed out aggressive. Plopsky wraps that round up, puts a bow on it, and calls it 11. NIP. They started with an early disadvantage there. Nor catching that frag through the smoke. And Tizian, had he known, could have stopped Rez. One slipping the net on his smoke spray. Very close round, though. NIP want to take us to three here. And quickly taking control back of the economy. Klopsky with the risk and twist. Happy with that. All right, let's see how 19 fares. Quick denial of trophy. Damn, Tizian, that is a huge boatload of info. They can put their resources, albeit minimal, in the right place. It's three Desert Eagles. As Hampus does get himself down. 
Oh, there's a fight right now. Tabs and falls. It was just the USP. Damage done to Plopsky here, but at least they can get down secret in similar fashion to what we saw Tizian do in the first half. Hampus is controlling that vent rotation, meaning they just need to worry about the window side. Rotating in fast. Nork is going to be overseeing things with the AWP. And oh, Centares, he's the only man down here. How many can he get? Both doors have been swung open. Spotted up. Twist. He knows where he is. He even is going to fall. Tara is looking for more, but Plopsky finishes him off. And now the bomb should go down. Last man standing will be Tizian. He took all that trophy room at the start. And oh, uh, maybe he is timed out there. So we might be having a technical. Just bear with us, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. And IP, we're just up against the pistols here. So it's not too many dramas. It will be 12 to 7. And of those seven, the bigger posted. Five of which have come off of the pistols and then the conversions. In the first half, it was the pistol and two. In the second half, it was the pistol and then that full eco round from big here. Uh, sorry, from NIP here and then straight into those AKs. So now that the AWP has changed hands, this round will be coming to its conclusion momentarily. Tizian's still not moving, indicating we do have a couple of dramas, but normally pretty quick to fix. Campus will find him, gets a bit of extra cash. Bomb goes off. And another round posted here is, you can see the scores on your doors. Rez, 22, big influence. A lot of lobby pressure from Rez within that first half. 16 for Nork, 15 for Plopsky, 12 for Hampus, 10 for Twist. And here's Rez just dealing with a couple of easy kills towards Yard, the final one. Yeah, not looking his way, it is in Frozen. This is the time to stretch now, ladies and gentlemen. If you want to get on up, touch your toes. It's Tizian on the screen for all the ult. Nuns just being a cro dropped across in spawn. And well, with the scoreline at 12 to 7, NIP, they still have to work hard to get these final four gun rounds. Has been quite the game so far. If you missed Vertigo, it was an overtime affair. A map where Big had a 14 6 lead. NIP battled all the way back to see us go into overtime. But Sirison was too good. Keto really turned it on once we got to overtime. And now here on Nuke, it was clear that NIP came prepared. They knew that this was going to be the pick. They were punishing the game plan of big, heavy large, yard presence, even Tizian being punished in towards lobby. And from there, they've been able to mount themselves a 10-5 first half. You're all caught up with play. And we'll be back underway in 30 seconds. So didn't have to wait too long after all. Let's see if Big can reinvest here and make themselves threatening. An AWP should have been able to get dropped across from Keto. I'm sure we'll see that by any moment now. There it is. Icon above Sirison's head. Tizian's back in the server. Keto down to a Famous. He's been a team player right now by getting the big green for one of his star players. If you missed the Sirison clutch, if you are just joining us, probably head over to uh, social media. I see that ESL accounts have tweeted that one out or read it. You've got all the action over there too, but here we go. Freeze time down to 10 seconds. The buy is good. Everybody with a Molotov besides Sirison's and is actually opting in with a HE, two flushes and a smoke as his utility buy. They are working with two kits, so post plants won't be too many problems. And check out Twist here. Mac 10, Galil for Rez. Might indicate something a little bit quicker. Twist is in towards lobby quickly. Squeaky gets blown open. Hasn't dropped down the vent. Just showing that it is possible. Nobody from big has rotated lower just yet. And Hamp has been a bit of a smoke criminal towards Yard. Oh, the Molly's missed. That one's not deep enough for secret by any means. That could actually be used to punish them, but there's nobody home. They'll start throwing out some smokes now, and if they're not careful, Sirison does have this AWP. He doesn't tend to miss. Clean from Tabson stabilizes after his initial miss. That's first blood in favor. Ooh, quickly traded back. Nork stops Tabson's re retreat. Confirms his suspicions. That's what they wanted. It was yard presence. Now, Twist is holding the uh, off angle. That's AKV. No head armor. And look at that. Great catch. No helmet. Gets punished. Tizian immediately stops him from stealing anything else. They're walking at the bomb out top site. They'll smoke main. This is unguarded other than Tizian. And he gets the clean jewel. He's only got five bullets. Might want a fresh mag. There's more jewels to come. Searson providing some support. Nork shot baited out. So Searson continues. But oh dear. That's a nasty death. Searson rotating in. Oh, missed the one way. 
flubbed the one way. And Nork holding for this trophy push on Zantares. Looks away as Zantares advances on the repeat. Oh, that's Just quick. Scopes. Searson on the 1v2. Two round up. winner. Round winner from Nork right there. No kit. Can't really risk losing his AWP. NIP getting closer and closer to taking us to our third. Oof, all right. Go on the distance again here. 13 to 7 now. NIP, how are you doing this? Hampus joined the team. They played them out 14 times. They've only won at three. I guess the same thing can be said for Vertigo. Big have had a bunch of losses in that recently, some of which are close, some of which were blowouts. They had beaten NIP on this map before, or on Vertigo before even. And the same for NIP versus Big on Nuke. So maybe their play styles, they're just perfect for one another to punish uh, the punish picks. Yeah, I suppose. <laughs> I guess that's, a, that's one way to think about it. All right, well... Back underway we go, and Bigger just really operating with this AWP. It's saved across. It's going to be pistols to bolster that. A little bit of utility to work with, but they need a moment of inspiration, and we thought that Sirison offered that up within the first half. Let's see if he can do it again. He's aggressive. Anybody? He can still peek over all of this util they've invested. Tuck down the secret stairs. He may have a chance here to have some influence. Could be a Molotov onto his position, but he holds ready. And he's oh, spotted and beheaded. Please. Rez, that's a round winner, or is it? Because Tamsin's P250 slaps. He's actually taken three. That's an unarmored $300 pistol. And he's continuing. Oh. Good grief for Dinkin to Nork. He's actually made it winnable for Zantares. And I think that's the message he's trying to convey as the AK's picked up. If he peeks into Nork, he'd have to be quick. And Nork saves them. Wow. Tabson, that is phenomenal <laughs> stuff with only a P250. How does that one almost get out of hand? That is wild. If he takes Nork down yeah. there. Uh huh. Oh, and I'll take a timeout too, just to recover from what we've seen. One more left for Big after this, and they might not need it. Scoreline 14 to 7 now, and this shot from Rez was great. I thought that would have been the showstopper, but no, Tabson had something to say about that, and Nork then finding the final two frags. Where's Fazantara is potentially looking for that peak. And if I'm threat, I'm on the edge of my seat while that one's going down. That one would have had me absolutely nerve wracked. And here's the guns again. It hasn't felt that big of had a lot of gun rounds here in this second half, but that's just through not being able to save too many guns and the woes of the CT side economy is the 3,400 will be going into the next, but there's only two rounds of play. If NIP sew them up quickly, back to the four AKs, back to the AWP for Nork. Sirison has his prized possession, but no utility to help him on and out with. We'll need to start finding some impact now. There's no more room for failure. Big, got to get it together on Mirage. We'll be coming around the corner, the third and final map here of the series. Nork goes looking, smoke lands. He doesn't hit the pick, but towards Yard, we see some smokes being dipped on out. Hap is looking for room, looking for space. I don't think he'll expect Tabson to play the smoke like this and overseeing Sirison. He hasn't actually seen him. <gasps> Hampus, he's found the timing and a gap in the kill. Tabson's down. Here we go. The downward spiral. Searson caught on the ladder. Maybe he can hit the close quarters scope. Hampus hasn't heard it. But he takes it cleanly. That's another big impact round from Hampus. Been thoroughly enjoying his presence in the Ninja's roster. I, I can't argue against the upgrade he's, he's been for Lecro. And Tears a prime example. Look what he's done. He's single-handedly winning this round. Tizian is in main, but he's wrapped in and considered everything else clear. They can plant without a, a care in the world, even doing their due diligence on the vent. I can't believe Tizian's having a look in here. Yeah, he's giving it a good go and actually finding two. I don't know if you'll uh, call the squeaky's door clear. It's another lingering there. He's even got a little gap to work with. I like his chances of finding well, someone. Be careful now. Flash for the push, they mollied it. Chris is there, and go on, Tizian, he's giving it a good go. Centaurus will arrive and make it a one versus two, but now the orb's been recovered, and he's the hell out of there. It's a big not, save. Yeah, it's not necessarily the um, the dream outcome, but it is something to stay viable into the rest of the CT side. It's going to put match point, or rather map point, sorry, on the board. And IP15, they got so much room now to just find that final elusive round. But it was a 15 to six scoreline on Vertigo. Yeah. So we've we've been here before. Roles are reversed. Don't fancy Big's chances, but it is CT Nuke. I mean, it would require 
just a little breaking of the ninja's morale. Couple of hero rounds, couple of Searson entries, and bombs your uncle. You're staring at another overtime between these two teams. But a big mountain to overcome. Well, let's see if NIP can close it down here and lock in map number three. Just one more round to find and will it be another hero play coming in for the in-game leader or will they do this one more as a team? Spotted now, crossing to the far right-hand side of Warehouse. Plopsky's jump peak is good and the shotgun is as well. Tizian into Hut wins the duel against Twist this time round. Might even fancy himself an AK-47. He's dropped that a little bit further back to avoid the sound cue up close and personal with the NIP players and even lobs in a nade. And picks up one. 4D chess. Oh, wow, they are so fast out. Tizian's just caught out completely. NIP, they can finish it right here, right now. Good incendiary from Searson. They won't be able to plant now. And Nork's already caught the lobby flank. Oh, no, Searson is sitting duck. It's over. Unless Centaurus has got a 1v3 on the menu. He has flashes. He'll be flashing and isolating the duel onto Rez. Oh, and he's been spotted out, wins the first duel. Not expecting Nork to peek into him, and he does. Does hit the warning shot. Plopsky's working on the flank, the round winner, and as he descends, Zantara's practically books himself. Is he smart enough to consider a heaven flank? No, Plopsky's got him. 16 to seven. It's quick, it's clean, and NIP take Big's map pick. That hurts.